Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. Excuse the rubbish lighting for today's video. I was just like, I just wanna film this really quickly. And I kind of ordered in tonight, I ordered Caribbean food and it's literally just arrived. So I'm very keen to film this and go eat. I ordered dumplings, plantain, oh, mm, mm, can't wait. But I'm gonna talk about workout equipment in this video. So let me get a bit closer actually. Please excuse the one random ring light. Normally I'd try and get some depth or whatever, but we're just gonna go for it. Home workouts, I love them. I am a big fan of working out at home. Whenever someone says, you can't see results at home, it's not challenging enough. I'm like, you're not, you're not doing it right. With all due respect, with much love, it is definitely possible to challenge yourself and see results at home. Unless you can do a one-handed upside down double clap, push jump, then you have not exhausted your home workout routine. But when you feel like you want a little something extra, you want a little pizzazz, investing in equipment is a great way to add that. And I've done that over the lockdown period. I used to have, you know, a couple of bits and bobs here and there, like some of this stuff is pre-pandemic home workout equipment, so it is low key staple. But since the pandemic, I've made a few uh, investments too, which I just, highly recommend especially one of them which was kind of pricey but it's just i i would say i've already got my money's worth and the best thing about this stuff is that it doesn't go off you can just keep using it and keep seeing the gains results oh, i feel like this top doesn't show my upper body gains as well as i would want but whatever we're not gonna hate so first thing first to invest in is a mat i love a good mat <clears throat> Yeah, they're just great. I always get the thick, chunky ones. They're a bit annoying though, because when you roll it out, it'll like, the ends will curl. So I also have like a thinner one um, that is fine. It's just not as comfortable. So I actually have three mats, <laughs> uh, which if it is excessive. You don't really need three, but just because I like changing things up in videos, especially for my home workout plan when I was filming for that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a show, you know? Um, and depending on what outfit I'm wearing as well, sometimes, it shows up differently. So if I'm wearing black, I don't want to be in a black mat. I want to be in a different color. If I'm wearing blue, I don't want to be on a blue mat. You know what I mean? You need that contrast to see what I'm doing, to see my technique and to follow along. I stick to the cheap ones. You can get super expensive ones, which I've looked at getting, especially since I do this now, you know, I'm a trainer and I'm on YouTube. So I'm kind of like, should I just invest and get like a proper workout mat? But I still haven't. So these are like, you can get them from like 10 to 20 pounds. I love the thick ones. I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, so that's the mat. Next step, resistance bands. Oh, I love these. I love this one specifically. I always use the purple. Um, so I love a resistance band. It can add so much to your workout. There's all like dust flying around, which is kind of disgusting, but we'll just power through and ignore that. It can add so much to your workout and they're so easy. What I like about these as well, that sometimes I'll cycle to the park and just take it with me because it's so small and lightweight that I can actually put it, I can put it in my running belt and like run to the park and do a workout there, or I can put it in my bike basket and it is just no fuss. Um, love a resistance band, highly, highly recommend that you get one of these and incorporate them into your routine. Um, if you're looking for workouts, by the way, that you use this, sign up to my home workout plan, makes great use of this resistance band. Um, you can also get longer resistance bands. Now, I do like these for upper body, training um it can be good for doing like hamstring curls and stuff it can be quite useful however a lot of my epic body work i can i just do body weight because you know <laughs> i don't want to say i'm not as strong as i look but genuinely like for me like body weight or single leg lift push-ups are still pretty challenging so i'm still working up to that so as, and also like i'm more of like a functional person when it comes to upper body you know i'm not the biggest bicep curl kind of gal i do do them and i love them but i just prefer more like pull-ups you know something more practical you know i want to know that if i'm ever dangling on the edge of a cliff i can pull up and over with a really strict technique because i've been working out so as much as i love this i don't use it quite as much so that's the long resistance band i do recommend that i'm only including in this video by the way stuff that i actually recommend of course next up it's a skipping rope i don't use this as much as I would because I tend to do different types of warm-ups um, and I like less contact because, you know, previous knee surgery, low-key still emotionally sensitive to any kind of impact. So yeah, love a skipping rope. I did get a pricey one of these online and it broke. So yeah, I probably 
I mean, I can link that one if you want it, but it's not the one that I currently use. This one was from Asda and it hasn't broken on me yet. And I'm pretty happy with that. The fancy one I got, you could like adjust the length, which is all fun and games until it breaks. So <laughs> that wasn't why it broke. I didn't do that with the last one. Next up, we've got the foam roller. Foam rollers, oh my goodness. I could talk about these all day. So, so good. As a former junior athlete, I was raised on foam rolling. It is an essential part of any workout routine. I talk about this a lot and I have follow along foam rolling videos in my home workout plan. So again, plug, sign up for that because it's great. They don't cost much, they're great. They're really good at aiding recovery and increasing your mobility and helping reduce DOMS, so delayed onset muscle soreness. Uh, so I highly recommend these. I try to do it before and after every workout. I don't always, but I do try. Um, I've had this one for ages now. Again, these things don't go off. This is quite a firm one. You can get less firm ones because it is like, you basically, you sit on it and you roll it if you don't know what foam rolling is. Um, or you like, you know, roll out a muscle with it by applying pressure. And it's like a poor man's massage. So you basically like give yourself a massage and it's really effective and really great as part of a routine. You can get like less intense ones. So ones that aren't as hard to so have a bit more give. Um, but you know, having been through the trenches, I can handle this intensity of this massage foam roller thing. But there are other intensities, so I'll also put links to low intensity ones in the description box. Alongside a foam roller, I also love using this gorgeous little hockey ball. This is intense, it's very hard. So when you like roll this on your body, like you sit on it, on your like glute, and roll it, <laughs> it really eases out any knots. Now, I use this a lot. <laughs> I will literally, <laughs> I will literally, when I'm working or editing, I will put this, if I've done a workout that my hamstrings are super tight from, I'll just place it under my hamstring. And as I'm working or editing, I'll just be slowly moving it from spot to spot, waiting for the pressure to ease. And it is so, so good. It is so good. It is so effective. Um, Cause I find that with, even with like really firm foam rollers, sometimes your gal's got knots that just need that extra specificity you know it needs to like really just go in intensely and knead up that knot so definitely recommend a hockey ball but only when you are used to the pain like i enjoy sports massages because i'm like yes we need out that pain um but that is because i'm used to having them done over a load of years so start with a gentle mild foam roller if you're just getting into it and work your way up to the hockey ball if you start with a hockey ball you might cry um, and I don't want to make anyone cry. Okay, next up is dumbbells. Now I've had these two kg dumbbells for a long time. I barely used them until lockdown. Um, and I use these for simpler movements or for movements that I'm not very good at yet. So for me, that is a lot of like upper body shoulder work. Um, I tend to drop down to two kg and just keep the reps up. I know, I know. You wouldn't guess it by looking at the size of these bad boy traps. Am I allowed to say that? I'm so hungry, you guys. I just want to eat. So sauce if I'm a little weirder than usual. I know I'm usually weird, but this is like a bit much. Um, but I do, I drop down to two kg and it still adds a challenge, especially with bent over flights. There's something about that, that it's just like, oh, damn, like this hurts. And I couldn't do those with my most recent, most expensive investment, which is these bad boys. I absolutely love them. These are eight kilogram dumbbells. I love them because they're soft. I didn't get like the cold metal gym type ones because personally, I don't think they look very cute. I think these ones look really cute. Um, and as someone who films home workout videos, it matters. <laughs> so nah, just, I don't know, for me, I knew I definitely didn't want, like I saw some other ones selling, they were like metal and blah, blah, blah. And I just, I don't enjoy that when I'm at the gym and they've only got the metal ones. I always try and choose the ones that are covered. I don't even know what this, what material this is. Is it like rubber? I have no idea. But I always try and choose these ones because I just don't like the feeling of cold hard metal on my baby soft hands. So that's my preference. So I got these in eight kilograms and oh my goodness, when I tell you that these go a long way, they go a long way. And I'm someone who squats, what, 160 kg was it last time I checked? So I like to think I'm pretty strong. But with these, you know, when you add them on reps, it is 
it's effective. So these, I think these cost me like 80 pounds, so they weren't cheap. However, I think they were absolutely worth it. The amount that I've used these in my workouts, the fact that they're not going off, the fact that I could sell them on for like, you know, a similar price or not lose as that much money. Um, okay, probably like half what I bought it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the pandemic has really put up the cost of resold home workout equipment. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that economics. Basically, <laughs> I'm just gonna put these down because they get out of me. Basically, I really recommend getting dumbbells. I was like, oh, do I do this? Do I not when I got them? But they're worth it. And I'm so, so glad that I got them and that I kept them and I would highly recommend. And that brings us to the ab roller. So this is a little contraption that you can like do rollouts on. You can do like roll out ab exercises on. Um, and I used to use this a lot. I haven't used it as much recently, but it is definitely fun for changing stuff up. Um, and really working your abs. And it's also like, I quite like it, it's just like something to hold. I don't know if that makes sense. Sometimes when you're doing different exercises, it's nice to have something that's not a weight that you can use to like focus the direction of that exercise. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I do love this. It is also super cheap and not very expensive. So get you one of these bad boys. I will link in the description. If you're serious about exercising regularly from home, I actually, if you can afford it, or if you can survive it financially, I really recommend investing financially in your health and in your home workout routine because especially for me, I find that when I put my money where my mouth is, I'm more likely to follow through. And actually research suggests as well that when we pay for stuff, we tend to like value it more and we can you know, follow through on plans that we've paid for more courses that we've they charge for, have a better like follow through rate. I guess that's also to do with the people that sign up being more committed or whatever, but anyway, Anyway, long story short, I think it helps. You know, for me, I'm like, okay, I wanna get my money's worth out of this stuff, and so I tend to use it more. Um, so if that works for you, then yeah, I'd totally recommend going for it. And that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found that helpful. Um, I'm very hungry, so I'm not even gonna do like a long outro. I'm so sorry, but I just wanna eat this food. Let me know in the comments what your go-to or must-have fave piece of home workout equipment is, and I will just chat with you in the comments. Thank you so much. Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I love you so much, I'll see you very soon. Bye. <laughs> I ordered so much food, you guys. This is all. This is all for me. What have I done? All this ice cream? I don't even know it. All that needs to go in the freezer. Got the dumplings. Contain. I don't know why I've ordered so much food when there's only one of me. I was just so hungry. So good. No regrets. No regrets. Let's eat. 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 Let's eat.